Hello folks, my name is Tyler Stevens with Volet Manufacturing and today we're going to walk you through which of our skis is going to be the right backcountry daily driver for you. Today we're going to be talking about the Supercharger, the V6 and our V-Series, and last but not least, the Manti. Our reason for creating this video is because each of these three skis are quite similar in a lot of their characteristics and dimensions, but each ski kind of caters to a specific style of skier or snow condition. So we want to help you make the most informed decision you can when looking into our Valet ski lineup. That being said, first we're going to dive in to some of the key characteristics that go into a ski and dictate the differences in performance. And that's going to be the contact points, the taper, and the waist width, and how all of these play into ski performance and make each of these skis perform a little different from the other. The waist width is the amount of ski that you have directly underfoot and impacts the type of terrain or snow that the ski might thrive in. Then we have the contact points, which play into the length of ski that's actually touching the snow and the radius of your turns. The taper is the shape in the tip and the tail of the ski. The taper and camber combined is what gives you your contact points, and that ultimately determines your turning radius. So before we talk about what makes these skis different, let's first talk about what makes them similar and why you might be having a hard time deciding which ski is the right one for you. Now, first off, they are all lightweight. They are all backcountry and powder oriented. And all of these skis are a more directional build. Because of that, we find that there's some confusion when looking into our skis and determining which one is gonna be the right option for the right person. So first off, we're gonna talk about the Valet Supercharger. If you're looking for a skinnier option, the Ultra Vector comes from the same camber mold and features the same characteristics, but this is definitely the more popular option. In a 171 length, it comes in at a 104 millimeter waist, and it's in the name, this is a Chargy Ski. <laughs> now, when I look at the Supercharger, I think an edge-to-edge, -edge, more traditional style skier that's looking for something a little more free ride oriented. It features the longest contact points out of any of our offering, so you're really skiing it from here to here. That's a lot of ski. And because of that, you can load up the tails and you get a lot of energy and rebound going in and out of turns. So when I'm thinking power transfer, you know, railing that edge to edge, this is the ski I'm bringing out. But yeah, the Supercharger, I'd say it's really geared towards that more free ride oriented skier or someone who's just more old school, really likes to ski edge to edge and have that more race style, who likes to load up their tails and really bounce in and out of their turns with a lot of power and aggression. This isn't your smeary or surfy ski as much. It's floaty and powder, but really this is a ski that wants to be driven and wants to be skied hard. Also, if you're looking for a Valet ski that performs incredibly inbounds, this is also a ski I'd highly recommend. Personally, I like to take this ski as a 50-50, or if I'm doing side country, I'll do big backcountry days with it, but I'll also spend a day completely in the resort and it just rails. <laughs> yeah! Next up, we're gonna dive in on the V6. Now the V6 features the same characteristics and shape as the V8, so if you're looking for a little bit of a wider option, that you might want to consider that ski as well. But for today, we're looking at the daily backcountry drivers, and here we have the 173 centimeter, 98 millimeter waisted V6. Now this ski, we'd call our all around powder daily driver. If you're getting into or have been in backcountry skiing for the purpose of surfing powder, <laughs> wiggling through the trees and you're looking for something that's maneuverable and light and more surfy, this is probably the ski for you. The contact points on this ski are from roughly here to here, which is the shortest of our offerings. So pair that with the tip and tail taper. It has a real surfy and kind of smeary feeling. This ski is super intuitive. It almost does the skiing for you. And if you're getting into skiing or have been backcountry skiing for the purpose of skiing powder specifically, and you want something that's very maneuverable and pivoty in the trees, this is the ski for you. Now, it can hold its own on some hard pack or take a couple spins and bounds, but really this is a ski that I like to take out on low to mid angle powder days where I'm just cruising through trees or glades and really just out there to have a good floaty fun time. Woo! And last but not least, we're gonna dive in on our newest offering, the Manti. Now there are many of you out there who maybe wanted the more stable and chargy feeling of the supercharger and wanted the tails they could really load up, but also wanted a ski that could surf and pivot easily in the trees. 
And that's why we decided to make the Manti. To me, the Manti is a ski that I bring out if I'm not quite sure what I'm getting into that day. Now let's say there's a day where I'm gonna be doing a little bit of everything and I'm gonna be ripping up open faces, skiing them fast, but also ending up in the trees a little bit and I want something I can easily pivot and maneuver. On a day like that, I'd take out the Manti. It features some of the best characteristics of both the Supercharger and the V6. It's very pivoty and maneuverable, and that's due to its shape. It kind of has more of the tip of the Supercharger, but features the tail of maybe the V-Series. It makes turning very intuitive and easy, but you can still really lean into this ski. The Manti sits directly in between the Supercharger and the V-Series in our lineup. It features longer contact points so you can really load up the tails and get a nice power transfer edge to edge when skiing it. But also with its wider waist and tip and tail taper, it makes it nimble in the powder and easy to turn in the soft snow. So as you can see, each of these skis features some similar characteristics and really any of these would work for just about any skier. But to wrap things up, if you're really looking for a more race feeling ski that you can really load up the tails and charge hard on, go with the Supercharger. If you're looking for something that just effortlessly cruises the POW and is very pivoty and maneuverable, we'd highly recommend the V6. And last but not least, if you want something that can do it all and everything in between, the Manti might be the right option for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit us up on any of our social media channels. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at Volet MFG and on Facebook as Volet Manufacturing. We look forward to seeing you out in the backcountry safely and responsibly. <laughs> That's a wrap.